Well, we're going to learn more about Cornerstone of Hope Lima. They're an agent, a partner agency with the United Way of Greater Lima. So joining us today, to my immediate left, Carrie Taylor. She's with Cornerstone of Hope, Lima. Cornerstone of Hope Lima. Sorry. <laughs> and then we have Erin Hardesty, of course, a familiar face to President and CEO of uh, United Way. So thanks both of you for coming today. Thanks, Absolutely. Holly. Okay, so Erin, you've been introducing us to your partner agencies, and this seems like a special agency. Why does it? Did you guys feel important that you needed to partner up with them and help them out? I, because of mental health, mm -hmm. I think, especially since COVID, uh, mental health has been a huge insecurity uh, in this area all over actually right. and so we really have three partner agencies that deal with mental health and I think it's important that the people know that this is a United Way agency and what they do to mm -hmm. help with mental health. Yeah. So. Yeah, Carrie, I mean, mental health, we've been hearing so much more about it, I think, since the pandemic. But, I mean, it existed before that. Yeah. But has you see, have you seen, a, you know, a greater increase in the need for people to, to reach out? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Since since COVID, it's actually increased about 25%. And that's really um, nationwide. Mm -hmm. uh, I just did see in Ohio uh, youth and adults who need mental health assistance but don't have enough access to it in Ohio. Ohio, we are mid to high oh, in the really? need for that. And so it, it's a definite need. Uh, I think people relearning, how do we do life? How do we do hard things in life? How do we manage multiple stressors hitting us mm -hmm. at, at one time? So it's certainly a need. I, I'm, locally, I know that our, our stats are kind of bad when it comes to um, teens and younger kids, yeah. you know, taking their life and dying by suicide. I mean, mm -hmm. th what is your focus at Cornerstone Hope? Is it the kids? Is it adults? Or do you just do all levels? It's a great question. We actually serve all ages, starting with five on up. And so uh, that's one of the, the reasons that we love getting to partner with United Way. Um, we, th what they're sponsoring or they're funding for us is our Hope Through the Lifespan grant. And so what that does, when we looked at the, the numbers and the ages of people we serve, it is a even spread from age five up to even retirees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we have such an even spread, so we thought we would ask for funds because we do have several coming. With uh, at Cornerstone, we serve things like um, grief, uh, trauma, addiction, uh, anxiety, depression, job stress, behavior concerns, family issues, marriage—really a gamut. And so we we are finding that so many need it, but some have a financial burden in that, right? Mm -hmm. And they can't they can't afford what they're needing to get their mental health at a place that they feel healthy. And so that's a wonderful partnership with United way to be able to offset some of that financial burden for mm -hmm. all those ages to receive the care they need. Yeah, I think, you know, you mentioned one hurdle, financial burden, and then some people just don't even want to take that chance and, and reach out, right? But, but as you said, where they feel healthy. I mean, it is possible. You can help them. You can work through. Mental health is something that you can feel better about. It absolutely is. It abs everyone has, if you have a mind, you have mental health, right? <laughs> so everybody does. Uh, everyone has it. Uh, we just, some, some are operating up at a deficit. And, and sometimes they just need some practical skills, some new ways of thinking and coping and managing it so that it can get back to a healthy place. So they feel like, I can do this. I have hope. I can function in a really healthy way in relationships, in work, uh, in personal life, things like that. And so it's very doable. And our team at Cornerstone, we love equipping people with the skills they need mm -hmm. so that deficit doesn't have to keep staying there. It can, yeah. can get back up where it needs to be. Well, and Erin, you know, with the whole United Way, I mean, mental health and making people feel better and, and being helpful in the community, volunteering and stuff. I mean, that's kind of like, we need all that. Exactly. Yeah. With our impact areas of health, education, and financial stability, that all ties in with, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. So definitely we need to help people with the, with the mental health right, issues. Yeah. So Carrie, um, at Cornerstone, do, do you need a doctor's you know, referral or can you call you guys up? I mean, if someone's listening at home, I really need help. What, how, can you help? Great question. Yes, we can. No referral is needed. So anyone can call our office um, and, and get right in. Um, we, we do have uh, someone who will take your information, things like that. And right. as, as we can get people in our, our waiting list right now, it's not too, too bad. So that's <laughs> a good thing. Um, uh, now is probably a good time to call in, but anyone can call. Um, and, and so that's no, no technical referral is needed for that. So we like to be accessible. We're very thankful that we can be accessible. Um, and then we do have some grant funding and other funding if there's a financial burden. Wow. All right. Yeah. Great stuff. Good to learn more about it. Thanks, Erin and Carrie, yeah. for coming today. Thanks, Holly. All right. Don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.